No chill, no filter. What is popping? What's popping? And what is popping again, man? About time, about time, about time. Y'all see who I got sitting next to me, man? Need I? He don't really need no introduction, but I'ma let him introduce himself. Let me say it right fast. Introduce yourself, gang. <laughs> <laughs> you good, man? It's your boy Mealtime Blow, man. Shout out my boy. No chill, no filter TV. Y'all already know what he did in real life. Hey man, y'all see he's sitting here, so it's obvious that he got some things to talk about. Few hey. things to get up off his chest. I got some things I want to know, and I'm pretty sure some things that y'all want to know. And if it's anything that y'all feel that he's saying wrong, or you know what I'm saying, he's misquoting, you always free to quote or, or or comment below and let us know exactly what's going on. Okay, man. First things first. I'm not gonna call none of this stuff an issue. I say it's more like um, I don't know, man. A lot of a lot of stunting going on today, man. What what's what's really happening right now, man? As far as and you know what? Do I say battle rap culture? I mean, it's a culture. It is. It is a culture. Okay. Okay. Yeah, it is a culture. Maybe it's because I'm making my money elsewhere. Because honestly, to, with me, battle rap is bottle money. So it's bottle rap for me. Um, <laughs> to be honest with you, I agree. Battle rap, you know, ain't, is not something that you can really bank on big money-wise unless you, you know, you the higher-ups. Right. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's going to take money. It's like a business. You know, mm -hmm. it's a business. And it's, it, it, it's hard trying to get people to come spend money with you. You know what I'm saying? So, right now, I mean, it's never been a, a market for money-making for me. Right. You know, I always utilize it as a hobby, and it always been a hobby. And if I made some money, I made some money. If I didn't, I didn't. Money That's what's up. Money. Right, right. Well, I can definitely understand that, man. But it's a whole lot of stuff going on right now, man, especially with these beefs. And your name is coming up in everything, man. Mm -hmm. Yes, yo, come on, man. Like, you don't know. <sighs> like, you don't know, man. man. Come on, young homie. Every time I turn around, man, Milltown Blow, you know what the worst thing I've heard yet, man, is that you're culture vulture. What, what does that actually mean? I uh, see, I don't know. People say culture vulture. Right. Like, I'm a firm believer in chasing success. You see what I'm saying? Like, so, when somebody say culture vulture, I, I never understood the title. A culture vulture would be somebody who don't give back to the community, who don't look out for artists. Opportunistic. Yeah, that's not me. I'm totally the opposite. Right. And, you know, only certain people who are in competition feel that way. Competition. Mm -hmm. Or who may feel they're in competition feel that way. I don't, I'm only in competition with myself. That's what's up, man. I like that. I like that. And, and that's the word right now. Competition. Where is it? Honestly, man, where is the competition? It's within. Thank you, man. And, and that's what I thought because if I'm sitting down here in my lab doing my thing, mm -hmm. saying, hey, man, when I bring this out, I'm going to love this. I'm going to love looking at this. I'm going to love watching this. There's you know what I'm saying? I'm going to love entertaining. What's wrong with that? But here's the problem. I look up and all of a sudden, man, I'm doing something wrong. What you doing wrong? Man, you tell me, man. You I, I'm want the camera to sit around, no one, sit around with it? You know what? I, I'm, I'm thinking it's this, right? <clears throat> I was always watching <clears throat> every time I turn around, you know, when I was on the outside looking in. Mm -hmm. Every time I turn around, I see battles going on, but I don't ever see the footage dropping. Her. I see people always, hey man, you know, this cameraman is trash, that cameraman is garbage, this dude is on this, this dude is on that. I'm like, you know what, if I ever did that, me myself with my type of work ethic, I'm a workhorse. Right. So so if it's something that 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 that's I, I feel this way. Everybody who gets in front of a camera deserves to be broadcasted. You know what I'm saying? You buy a camera to use a camera. But you know, what's what what's with all the vaulting? I mean, well, I mean, I'm gonna speak from 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 my own perspective. Um, I'm not voting anything. I'm okay. releasing everything. Right. Everything I have will be released. Right. You know what I'm saying? Um, and we still got a couple too. Yeah, we still sitting on a couple. Yeah. So, um, other people voting work has 
zero to, I feel like it's unfair to the artist. If you I don't do have too. a legitimate reason why it's vaulted, and it doesn't do anything to taint your, your brand, then it should be seen, you know, because that, that it's, it's a time thing. They put in time and effort into that, and they deserve to see what they what they earn. You know, footage is like a trophy. Right. People don't see it like that. Right. It's like a trophy. Like, they actually get to see themselves in, in a different form and fashion, and they look forward to that. So you can't, it's, it's bad if you do that to an artist, in my opinion, unless you have a legitimate reason and you and the artist agree to those terms. Right, if right. If that's not the case, then, you know. Well, <clears throat> I see right now that people is kind of like losing focus on the reason why they where they are. And the reason why people are where they are is they saying, oh man, I have 100,000 views with an X amount of subscribers. So yeah, do you know at any given time they could just pull out of that? You do know that, right? Yeah, I mean. And it's like a lot of people, they walking around like that could never happen, like, like they owe this. And they not. Well, I mean, I've even used that before. So, I, in, in, in a standpoint, I understand what they be saying, but I never stopped grinding when I said it. Right. You know what I'm saying? I always, and I'm not saying anybody else stopped grinding. I'm just speaking from my standpoint. I've never stopped grinding. And numbers do matter, but it's like you, you want to keep growing. You right, know what I'm right. And that's always been my focus, regardless of what number I throw out there is to Okay, if I'm 17, 18,000 subscribers, in the next two months, I want to be 24,000 subscribers. Right. Set a goal. So it's just, you know, it's, it's it depends on how you're utilizing it. If you're utilizing it to bash somebody else, then Yeah, you're doing it for the wrong reasons. Yeah, you're and doing that's it for different, the wrong reasons, you know? right. But the thing is, me being a fan on, and, and <clears throat> speaking for the fans, the people on the outside looking in, especially when all they see is what's on the surface. They don't see what's going deep. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? It's, it's terrible when, okay, somebody come to an event and they be like, oh man, oh, this, this whole event was lit. But now the next day, there's this big blow up on Facebook. Now everybody calling each other names. Don't nobody want to do this. Don't nobody want to do that. Hold on. Me as a fan, I just spent $15, $20 on however much money you wanted me to, to, to pay to get up in here. Mm -hmm. And now all of a sudden what y'all saying now is that due to these two people not liking each other, I'm not gonna see the battle that I came to see, you know what I'm saying? I'm not gonna be able to, to go to YouTube and watch this, you know what I'm saying? I mean, what's, I mean, what, what's what's really going on with that? It's like it's a huge smoke screen going on right now. Um, I mean, that's, I, I, where are we, are we, I mean, where are it's we hard, speaking right? in Milwaukee, are we speaking as you know culture? What? I, I, both, Milwaukee and the culture, because a culture is here in Milwaukee. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Battle rap is a culture here in Milwaukee. Indeed. Although, you know, we're going through a whole bunch of foolishness right now. And, and, and I wish people could come I don't together. I feel like it's foolishness. What, what would you feel it is? I feel like it's all a misunderstanding. Yeah, I, I, I would agree I with that. I feel like it's one big misunderstanding. I don't okay. feel like... Well, let's do this. Let's clear the air. First things first. Spit that heat. Origin. Go. Spit that heat started... About I'm gonna say nine years ago. Okay. And I started it off. I was um first before I started it off, I was I was watching you know Smack. And I mm -hmm. was like, damn, he back because I used to always watch him on the Smack DVD and watch the end of the battles and shit. I was always into that, so I was always looking for it. So one time I just hit YouTube and I searched that shit and I found out that he was still doing that shit. So I just started watching the culture, going to certain events and shit. And I seen that in Atlanta, it was an opportunity because I was out there doing music mm -hmm. and other shit. You know what I'm saying? I seen it was an opportunity to do that on the side, the battle shit. So I was like, bet, I'll do that on the side. So, um, came up with the name Spit That Heat. Ended up starting Spit That Heat. When I first started, I was doing Winner Get 500. I was picking random niggas. Mm -hmm. It was one that just to get the momentum going in Atlanta, just to get the you know the people familiar with who I was. Like we're right. this young nigga giving away five hundred. You right. know what I'm saying? So I was bringing my first event. I brought uh, a, a dude by the name of Cardi Frames from Milwaukee to battle a dude in Atlanta by the name of Ami the Truth. And the dude in Atlanta, he won in fair and square, five hundred dollars cash um, on spit that heat. That was like the beginning. You know what I'm saying? But once I did that. The people at the barbershop and they start looking forward to it. They're like, man, do it again. And it was like, damn, I ain't gonna keep on doing 500. Right, you know right, 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 right. But I did it. I did it three times. Right. You know what I'm saying? And I had I had people from Milwaukee each car each time I did it. And 
You know, I've even heard people say, uh, I've never done nothing for Milwaukee. Yeah, I've heard that um, too. I started bringing Milwaukee to Atlanta when I first started spit that. The, the footage is present. I don't know. I don't have to, you know what I'm saying? Like, right. gratify that. The footage is there. Um, and when I did that, bro, it just, I started studying the, the culture more and I seen that it was a lane, but I wasn't in it for the money because I knew immediately that I, I was doing free events, so I knew it was going to be kind of hard to get the money out of them. But once I got the concept of the game, I started seeing that people would offer the pay. Like, I did a battle with QP, Clean Paper. He battled Destro Dollars. It was completely free. Right. You know, he, he came to me like, why you ain't charge these niggas, bro? Why you ain't charge? I'm like, my bad. I'm like, I'm like, I'm, first I want to get the people aware of who I am and what I'm doing. You know what I'm saying? But right. it was people that was coming to the event that was willing to pay that dollar. Right. And I was shocked because it was like, I'm just starting this shit. I ain't, you know. So I was like, fuck it. I just studied the game and kept going and going. It just got bigger and bigger. And then I put together, um, it was CT versus Tom Montana. Mm -hmm. And Tom Montana ended up getting locked up. Ouch. He ended up getting out. And CT ended up picking a different battle. Mm -hmm. Then that's when we got Tom Montana super right. And we ended up, uh, I ended up getting Mickey Fax to come out the host. That's when he was working with the URL. And this was only like my fourth event. You know what I'm saying? I just knew immediately who the people to contact, who go get them, go book them to come out and see the talent I had just to give me a different kind of momentum. You know right, what I'm saying? Right. If I would really want to do a series. And I, I ended up reaching out to Mickey Fax. He hosted Super Rider versus Tom Montana. Um, when, he, when, he, when he immediately saw that battle, he called me the next morning and said, um, I need that battle to be released. I was like, you need to be, you need that motherfucker to be released right now. He's like, yeah, like yesterday. I got to show it to you. They want to see it. So when we did that, they was, they was geek, you know, because Mickey Fax went back running, you know, the URL staff was geek, you know, about the whole situation. And, you know, one lead, one thing led to another. Super writer, you know, they, he got hit up by URL. Tom Montana got hit up by URL, and they both went off to do their proving grounds. Okay. Those were the first artists that I worked with, you know, that actually exceeded to the URL. So it was a different kind of look for me being a newcomer with the, with, with the brand to see some artists from this era get recruited from by Mickey Fax to go to the URL. And it was, okay. it was a blessing, you know right. what I'm saying? It was like, I was like, dope. I saw, you know, you see Tom Montana on Smack, you know, I think he went against Cassius. I forgot the brother name. And then uh, Super Rider, I forgot who, I think he went against Newborn. His first URL smack proving ground, and, it's, and all of my, both of them are out. Right. Ever since then, you know, Tom Montana once once it, Tom Montana had it. You go watch that battle versus him and Super Rider. He had a different kind of spunk. You know, this was like seven, eight, eight years ago. Right. Right. You know what I'm saying he was a lot younger, and he was. That's when battle rap was everything. You know, now they didn't kind of milked it a little bit to took the took the life out of it so everybody ain't as interested as they was at first. You know right, what I'm right, so, right. But ever since then man it just been from artist to artist, bro. I, I I end up building up a hype around Super Rider. Um Tom Montana was a great look for us. Um Automatic Ray, a lot of different people official. Um even had official um, Arsenal came out and hosted like my fifth event. Official is the female, right? yeah. Okay. She's one of the best doing it right now. Um, I was a manager at one time. Um, okay. And I'm not taking nothing away, from, no accreditation away from her. You know, I'm just saying as far as like people I've worked with to get while where I'm at, where I'm at battle wise, like you would. I had to really go travel. Like I've been in New Orleans. I've seen the official battle in New Orleans. I've taken taking trips to see battle rappers battle in their hometown before I actually brought them. To, Spit that heat, you okay. understand? So, after I built up that whole hype around the Atlanta artists, I, I then began to see other artists like Briz Rossi, okay. T Top, Riggs, I like T Top, Bad News, uh, Spring. She was a, a female MC who actually went to Queen of the Ring as well from, mm -hmm. from the South, right? But pretty much, Boo Easy, pretty much anybody who has any stain in the South. Before there was a any other league that was spit that heat, and we was the house, we was the Duke of battle rap in the South, and that's always been my method. If I'm gonna do it to become the the best of the best, and we produce these kind of artists, you know what I'm saying? That we right. work with on a daily. We've had some of the biggest artists come battle on spit that heat. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Willingly, because you know they fuck with the campaign and they fuck with what we brought as a culture. And right. It's a different vibe to the culture. So okay. Yeah. 
Well, I mean, you know, just uh, we ain't gonna we ain't gonna um, hold on. We ain't gonna we ain't gonna keep this too long, man. I ain't gonna keep it too long, man. You know what I'm saying? But there is a few more things that I would like to know. First things first. Um, the reason why you came back to Milwaukee, and I, I've seen that you brought some serious events back here also with mm -hmm. you. But I mean, I didn't hear this, and then I heard that. But I want to hear from you the reason why you came back to Milwaukee and you left Atlanta. Well, um, the first reason I left Milwaukee is because... No, the reason why you left Atlanta. Oh. I, you came back to Milwaukee. Oh, the reason why I left Atlanta is because I ended up, I caught a case here. Oh, man. Um, so, and my mother was sick. Oh, so man. those are two reasons. You know what I'm saying? Like, so, for one, my mother was the first one. After right. that, I ended up getting into some trouble to the point where I couldn't leave and I can't leave and do nothing still to this day. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So, it's like while I'm here, why would I sit here and not be active. Right, right, you know, right. I can be in Tallahassee. It wouldn't matter. I can be in the Bahamas. It wouldn't matter. I right. would still be, if I want to throw events, I have my own money. I can throw events. That's what's That's up. Just, so if I'm here in my hometown, I want to most definitely bring what I brought to Atlanta to my hometown. And only a simple-minded individual would think otherwise. You know, oh, man. if you see me at every event. You see okay. What I'm so I'm, I don't. I'm going to ask you a question. Did you see the Overground show with John Doe? No, Moving I've on. heard about it. Okay, and 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 I know you know there were some things said that were I ain't gonna say derogatory, but you know such as what? Well, first you know it, it's like you know I, I when I was looking at it, I only watched little bits and pieces of it, but I stopped after you know they you know was talking about you know um, him signing people and you know I guess. <laughs> no man, um, they they didn't they didn't say names per se, but they was talking about cameramen and people bootlegging styles. I mean, a camera's like, <laughs> listen man, I already know it's a hundred and fifty million cameramen out here. Yeah, all using the same effects, all using the same programs. There's nobody patenting on any of these things that they claim to be then rock, man. Right. You know what I'm saying? Like it's just like saying somebody playing basketball can't go do a certain kind of dunk because somebody else is doing a certain kind of dunk. Right. It's two points for guys. And that's right. what we focus on. We focus on winning. We ain't right. pinpointing each other's work to try to find flaws to bring our brothers down. We don't do stuff like that. We keep our brothers high and we, we build them up. We don't bring them down. We don't right. Focus on them. And, and that's what I that's what I that's what I'm in it for. I'm not in it to, to degrade anybody. So we gonna go ahead and move on from that. Um, like they said, we ain't finna give them no more fame than they than they deserve. Mm -hmm. So here the thing is, man. As far as your next event, you managing now. Well, I know you've been managing, but you managing some. You you managing. I mean, is it Hoodlum Gang that you got now, or what, what's what's going on with that? I mean, you know, um, what I'm doing, man. I'm just. I don't like to even use the word, you know, manage no more. Cause mm -hmm. like, it just don't sound right. I just, you know, what I'm doing is I'm, I'm helping guide a lot of artists who I feel have a lot of potential to move to the next level. Right. Um, you so, got the right ones. Yeah, yeah. You so, definitely got the right ones. I'm excited about their future and what they got going on. You know what I'm saying? And I'm excited for any artist that I, I work with. That, you know what I'm saying? Like, because a lot of the artists that I work with really move forward. So my ratio of success as far as the artists that I, I push is a, is a lot different than others. And I'm going to be here to put them in front of y'all face, okay? That's a fact. So just letting y'all know that, you know what I'm saying, whatever the case, anybody say I'm the cameraman around town, which I am, and I don't, I don't mind that, I don't mind that, that title. But y'all need to understand something. It is about time for me to actually yoke with somebody, and I'm still thinking. But if I had a choice, if I had to choose, uh -huh. you know what I'm talking about? If I had to choose, <laughs> if I had to choose, yes. if I had to choose, <laughs> if I look, you know what? Uh, that that's that's to be announced. Facts. Spit that heat. You know what? Speaking of which, let's talk just real briefly. We can talk some more. We hey, no rush. looky here, man. Spit that heat and uh, Midwest Alliance are two totally different things. That's a fact. Right? Okay, so what is? We already talked about Spit that heat. What is Midwest Alliance? What is it? What is it a composite of? What? Is, what is it made up of? We are all league on this individually. We all come together to, you know, we 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 like a big pot of 
gumbo. We all come together every now and then to, to throw events, to, to shine light on matchups that we potentially want to see in the Midwest go down that hasn't already gone down. And to help elevate the Midwest, you know, in ways that they haven't been elevated on our terms. You right. know what I'm saying? It's not saying other people haven't done their job. It's just to say that we want to do it our way as a, as a collective. You know what I'm saying? So not having the answer to all these other people. We have our own conglomerate where we come together and we have our own council where we actually make our own decisions, we invest our own money, and we do what we want to do. So, so it's outside of me doing what I want to do with my money is I get with a whole bunch of other people that want to do what they want to do with their money, and we come together and make something like a mental for the Midwest to enjoy, like Ill Will versus Mr. Mills. Yeah. It's out right now. So check yeah. it out. Yeah. Um, Let's talk about your next card, though. It's going to be insane, right? Mm -hmm. Can you even remember all that, man? I mean, <laughs> yeah. What's the date on it first? March 11th. March 11th. We got a few weeks to prepare uh -huh. for this monumental event that I will be in the house recording. Facts. Yeah, they're going to they be in front of my cameras, man. So, holler at me, man, about this. I mean, ain't, ain't that the... No, that's not... No, I was just going to say that. I'm, I, I'm, 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 I was about to misquote something. Um, no, that's not going to be G. Gray and um, Dre Dennis, is it? Yes, it is. That D. Gray and Dre, Dre okay, G. Gray and Dre Dennis. How though, like, <laughs> and I asked, I asked G. Gray this, but you know, I guess, I guess he ready for for the for the next level, then, huh? I mean, well, with me, man, what I my focus is, man, when not only with my with the artists I work with, with the people who. I, like within the city that are serious about their craft, man, I'm willing to help groom and get to the next level. And the only way you're gonna know if you're ready to get off that training wheel bike is to get off them training wheels. Yeah, yeah. You know, all the, I mean, a lot of people seen. I knew I, I did it for a lot of reasons because a lot of people would see the matchup and they'd be like, "What?" Yeah, that's you know? the damn show. So, but those are the type of people that still come and see it, just to see the outcome, and that's what I. You know, I enjoy. I enjoy that curiosity from a fan. Like, if this battle gonna be what I think it's gonna be, right. or it's gonna be fire. And I got a lot of, I got a lot of, I got a lot of faith in, in G. Great, and I got a lot of time invested into what I got going on for his situation to make him be where he's, or make him be who he's trying to be in this game. So, right. at the end of the day, just pay attention. I know a lot of people are wondering what's going on. Just pay attention and just watch how he goes from there to there. And you know what, I hate to say this, man, because I'm kind of letting the cat out the bag, man, but um, I got a lot of respect for uh, G. Gray, man. You know, I give him a lot of flack, man, but for real, for real, I got a lot of respect for the man, man, on the strength of that he goes through it, man. He mm -hmm. goes through it. it. It's I don't care what the case is. For him to battle, you know, the likes of Don't You Goldstein, you know what I'm saying, uh, Killer B, you know, I mean, he done, he done been in it, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. And he, he goes through this it. This is his test. This yeah, is his he, he goes through it, this you know what I'm saying? You know, so, my bro, Jay Dennis, you met him before, Dre. Oh, yeah, he's for not, sure, he's for not sure. Gonna come, he's not going to come and play. You know? Nah, he's hell no. Nah. No, it's sir. It's not a paycheck for him. You know? Loud boys. He's going to be in the building. Um, yeah. I'm actually finna go host for him this weekend in New Jersey. Oh, in New man. Jersey. I wish I could go and check that out, it's man. That would be I'll be ooh. out there uh, hosting his, him and, uh, shout out him and C. Lotus, they first event out the gate. It's the name of the car hosted by me. We got okay. a lot of crazy battles going on in Jersey this weekend, man. That's what's up, man. I wish I could, I wish I could follow you, man. Do a road trip. Do a road trip uh, uh, promo uh, reel with you, man. You know what I'm flights, saying? Man. That'd be nice. We're on flights. Man. Oh, and that, that's all good too. It ain't. Well, I don't know if we can carry cameras on to the to the to the to the plane, but I mean, it is what it is, man. Hey, but man. you know what? I know y'all thought that you know we was gonna be on here, man. This man was gonna come on here, man. You know, trash talking, folks. Nah, you know man. what? There's no chill, no filter TV. We keeping it all the way 100, man. You know, I asked them questions that I wanted to know, man. You know what I'm saying? If y'all got any questions, y'all welcome to comment below, man. You know what I'm saying? If there's anything that I missed. But me, myself, I personally want to know exactly what it is that was going on, man. And, I mean, I already know, you know, the situation with the little drama that you had with, you know, so-and-so. And then back off over there, over there in, uh, I want to say, Kentucky or whatever, mm -hmm. man. You know what I'm saying? I, I, know, I know those situations. Didn't know the, the whole story. Although, you know, some people did kind of like... But you want the story? 
I mean, what you want to what you want to know about? <laughs> I mean, I, we we can talk about whatever you know. I mean, and, and you it's, know, it's, it's, it's just it's just to a point where you know, me myself, man, you know, I I say that it ain't smoking battle rap, but you do got people that you know they will like last weekend with you know goods, you know, doing what he did. It happens. Yes. You know what I mean? So, so let me tell you my situation just so we can clear the air. My man. I was booked to go host as you see me hosting all over the place. Mm -hmm. I normally, you know what I'm saying, when I go host, I normally have issue with you. You feel me? Just right. in case there's any kind of issue. Right, right, right. You know, so, but I'm driving from Atlanta to get the bag. And once you get through like that, that, that Nashville area, it's different on that road with them state patrol Right, right, right. I would have right, been, right. been stopped several times going back and forth from here to Milwaukee. Just right, right. Up. So I ain't want to risk it, but I just take it everywhere I go. You know what I'm saying? But I'm in Kentucky, man. We chilling. All of a sudden, at the end of the event, nigga come up to me, ask me like, yo, bro, you got a lighter? Now, I'm not paying it no attention because I've been getting drunk. It's the end of the event. I've been vibing with the artists, taking pictures. Niggas been asking for weed, blunts, lighters all day. Right. It's no different. So I reached down and I look for the lighter and I'm talking to somebody else. And the nigga sneak me. Right. He sneak me when I ain't looking. Now, you see it, I hop up. As soon as he sneak me, I hop up as soon as he see me and get space just to see how many it is and what's going to go down. Right. That's just how, you know, that's how you got to, if, if you know anything, that's how you got to give it up. Yeah, yeah. In a situation sure. like that, you need sure. space. So I'm back up to see what was going on, and it's, it's, it's pistols involved. Mm -hmm. The nigga who snuck me ran behind the nigga who got the pistols. And I'm thinking about it like, I'm an expensive nigga right, within right. my soul. I'm worth a lot of money. Right, right. You see what I'm saying? I gotta be really shaking some type of shit up for niggas to be sending niggas like, and these niggas was way bigger than Blow. I'm five, I'm five, eight. Right. These niggas, six, one, two, eighty, three. These big niggas. Right. The, the nigga who, the nigga who snuck me had to be like six, three. Right. But I'm, I, I just wanted to feel when all the, you know, the, the, I didn't need no posse and I ain't had no posse with me. You right. see what I'm saying? So, buddy ran, them niggas drew out pistols. One nigga said, don't die for it, you'll hit on the footage. I heard that. Don't die for it, that's cause that's the nigga who had the pistol. Mm. But they don't show that cause they don't want to incriminate themselves. But I don't, I don't look at that as a, you can't, you can't glorify that. Right. Cause I, it was something that was blindsided. It was, so it's something that somebody sent, hey, go sneak him, get it on camera, tape him. And it, it didn't do what you thought it was. It wasn't as effective. A lot of people love to see that. But the, the true story behind it, the next day, I made a blog. I was in Panama. Nothing was wrong with me. Right. So whoever you, whoever sent, like, you wasted your time trying to get fame on something you didn't accomplish. And so there was some sent-offs. There was some sent-offs. Hmm. People I've never seen. I've never seen these niggas before. These niggas weren't even at the event. So I've never seen them before. So at the end of the day, it was like... Okay. A lot of people expect me, what I'm going to go do? I'm going to go cuss out the internet? I don't know who these niggas is. Right, right. You know what I'm saying? Right. But you see niggas on the internet like, yeah, that's what that nigga get. Yeah. Trying to make it like it's something to applaud. But if they was in them shows, a lot of people wouldn't react to how I did that smile. I didn't buckle. Right. I didn't cry. You can go see if you see exactly. I'm ready. It's, it's like that. Right. I know in the entertainment business you have to, but I wouldn't, I'm going to be honest, I wouldn't expect in that. So, you know, they're not going to do it if you expect them. Yeah, you know, <laughs> see, that's when I, I come from that era, though, where right. if you really have a real issue with a, a grown man, you can hit him up, y'all can lock in. If it's really like that, y'all lock in, shake hands, leave it alone, man, move on with life. Right, There's plenty right. of this shit. Right. But you got so many people with pride issues, bro. That's, that, 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 that feels so so safe behind the computers and behind right, the text right. messaging and, yeah. and they just yeah that make them no if it's really an, a real issue don't talk about it be about it man yeah I tell that to anybody it's so much oh yeah man it, I don't want to hear I'm focused on money making sure my mama good my family well being the nigga ain't talking about meeting up and making it happen I don't want to hear it because Milwaukee life. ten minutes from everywhere in real life. Milwaukee's 10 minutes from everywhere. Right. Milwaukee's 10 minutes from everywhere, Kenny. I can't stress that. If it's a real issue, 
as men, it can be handled. If it's not a real issue, leave it alone, man. Move on with life. Focus on some money. I can definitely And that's why the, that. the, the success ratio, King, isn't where it needs to be. Because you got M Milwaukee, you got certain, you got so many people that's focused on the wrong kind of thing. And you got some people who not, but you got so many who are just focused on the wrong thing. Right. What he doing, what he got, how much he doing, what he doing, why he doing that for him. And it's like, bro, you grown with kids, we're doing that. <laughs> I know you ain't grown with kids doing that. Yeah, man, they grown with kids doing that, fam. What examples are you setting? You you, you faking yourself? Out. This is a sport like basketball, football. This ain't nothing to hate nobody over. This ain't nothing to want to fight nobody over. Right. This ain't nothing. You to would think. Man, this ain't this ain't you because ain't, ain't nobody making no millions off this shit. Right. Exactly. If you exactly. was making some millions off this shit, you, I can see what everybody be saying. But ain't nobody making no millions. These little couple hundred dollars. These, Motherfuckers barely want to pay 10, 10 to $15 to get, man, listen, man, it ain't worth it. It ain't, not at all. People make shit bigger than what it is because the money ain't big. Ain't nothing else to make big in this shit. Right, right. And you know what, I can I can appreciate, like, you know, every time I talk to somebody, me, myself, I don't see what I'm doing to contribute. I just feel that I'm doing my best to, to, to be the best. You like know what I mean? Bro, you're like a social network, meaning you give people an outlet for their voice to be heard. Right. Everybody is not granting that opportunity to people because everybody want to be heard, but ain't no everybody ain't gonna go get a camera and go spend three thousand, four thousand on a camera so they can be heard. It's just like everybody want to rap. Everybody ain't gonna have a studio in their crib, King. Right. It, it, you got to You know what I'm saying? You got. You got to want to be heard, and that's just what it is. And you giving people an opportunity who want to be heard to be heard. Man. My man. Ain't nothing wrong with that. Like. Okay. It's a million, like you ain't the only cameraman that's out here, it's a million of them. Yeah, you know it is, like, it is. But like I said, every time I turn around, I was hearing, like I said, all type of derogatory stuff about cameramen, about how they, like I told you, hold footage and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. So I'm thinking to myself, I'm not trying to show nobody up, but maybe I can do better. You know what I'm saying? Maybe I can do one better. Maybe I can help y'all. You know what I'm saying? Maybe I can be that one to say, every time y'all do something, man, I drop it right away. You know what I'm saying? That's what y'all need. So, especially with yeah. people, especially with people that 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 that's coming that's not on the higher rungs. You know yeah. what I'm saying? I feel that people. I, I, I put it to you like this: yeah, I put everybody on the same level, mm -hmm. unless the attitude ain't there. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Look, if you're in front of my camera, I'm gonna put you on there. I'm gonna put you on my show. Period. That's just how I go. You know what I'm saying? That's how I feel about it. But you got people, man, that's just. They got the nerve to, not, 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 it's kind of like as we talk about this, I see what culture vulture is start, starting to mean. You know what I'm saying? I mean, listen, man. Opportunistic, I'm, man. I'm a, if, if I invest my dollars, I invest my time, listen, man, I can get the money back. You feel me? I can't get these days back, these nights back. I'm sitting up thinking of cars, doing all this. Listen, man, it's my money. I do what I want to do with it. Right. Right. I can do it how I want to do it, wherever I want to do it at, man. Like, I ain't in competition with niggas. I don't care what niggas is doing. In real life. Like, I personally, and there's no disrespect, I ain't even saying it on some, I'm just, I don't really, I'm not trained to care no more what other people think. I seen the time where the years when I was really going extra hard with spit that he just spit that he only, but I care, well, I don't care. I got other ventures. I got businesses, other shit that's going on. It's yeah. way bigger than battle rap. <laughs> so, it's like, at the end of the day, I can't, really focus too much on battle rap and the little kitty shit that adults play within the lines of battle rap. I don't have to play them games with them niggas. Right, right. Like I, or anybody. Like that's just like if somebody got a real issue with me, if you see me at the event, let's get it. I ain't I ain't looking for trouble but I ain't running from it. I'm a I'm a grown individual. If right. you really got a if you got a real issue with blowing you know me, you something gotta be wrong with you. Cause that the real the I, the realest of the real fuck with you. The fakest of the fake don't. No. Right. You see what I'm saying? At the end of the day, that's just how I give it up. Cause if I got an issue with you, I'm gonna, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna ready, I'm gonna be ready to pull up. My man. I swear, you, even from you, from your ears, you, oh man, I, you, all through the grapevine, middle time, yeah, man, yeah. Cause I'm in Milwaukee, and I'm in Milwaukee. If and I wasn't here, you consistent with your events, man. Yeah, if I wasn't here, I wouldn't be brought up in these manner. But since I'm in this manner, but since I'm here. And I'm working with certain artists that I want to work with. People feel some kind of way about the artists I work with or what I got going on. They shouldn't. How about you just focus? If you ain't going to fuck with me, that's totally fine. Do you. Focus on what you got going on. Mm -hmm. I'm not going to throw no shades your way. Because right. I don't get paid for it. 
It's too. I I I, I got too much other shit going on. That's big money. This right. ain't for what? I ain't even got to do this for right. niggas. Right. If it's a real issue, again, Milwaukee's ten minutes from everywhere, man. If it's you know, men could be men. Right. I ain't with the shooting niggas up. All on the internet, talking crazy. No, none of that. Even that, like you know, Leave and, that and once again, man, you know, I'm like I said, OG. You don't call yourself OG because I owed you is. Mm -hmm. My thing is, man, you know, I mean, if I if I wanted to, if if it, if I wanted to be in a situation, man, where it's a possibility that I could, I may blow some nigga head off. I go back to selling drugs. If I want to bicker and beef with a bunch of peons, man, I go back to selling drugs, be for man. Money. That's what I'm saying. I go back to selling dope. Then I would have a reason to be on some, okay, dog, whatever y'all want to do, we can do like, it. You know what I'm saying? Niggas be killing me like, blow up. I heard you got a problem with... You heard wrong. <laughs> I don't got... Listen, I'm a clear. I don't have one problem with nobody. Y'all heard him, right? I don't have one issue with nobody. Y'all heard so him, right? So you heard I got an issue with somebody... They lied to you. <laughs> they lied to you. They lied to you. Yeah, the only yeah. issue I have with is Wells Fargo. Run me my chicken. <laughs> That's it. All I'm that battle like... rap, I got it. Man, listen. Thank you. I my... <laughs> Do some effects on this shit. <laughs> I, my... <laughs> I, shit. I want to see that shit no more. <laughs> Y'all cut it out, man. Focus on some, some money. Focus on being great, not good. Get out of here with In all that. Real life, my man. So check this out. We're going to end it on that note. Hey, with that being said, man, if, if is there anything that, like, like if there's anything that you can change about battle rap, and we already know, man, we mm -hmm. want to get rid of all the drama. But, you know, that that's a given. That We already know, you know what I'm saying, if we could change that about the, the, the culture, we would. But anything other than that, man, what would you change? For the better, of course. <sighs> um, I would take battle rap to where it was, like when niggas were showing up in the hood, and they just had rounds to go. I would take the money away. Larry Bull, Larry Bull, is one of those type of cats. Yeah, I just take the money away. <laughs> I take it back to the murder move, the party yard. These niggas showing up in the projects. Right. Niggas having like fifteen minutes worth of raps. That's that's what I fell in love with when it got orchestrated and became a business. Which I'm, I'm, you know, I don't mind it being a business, you know, but I was just, it was more the thrill to see two random niggas meet up. They ain't know who was finna battle and they finna, these niggas finna go crazy. Right. You know what I'm saying? That was, <clears throat> but it's like now it's so staged, you know, three, four, five months ahead of time. You know, sometimes niggas still ain't ready. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> definitely. You know, um, I, eat yeah. I eat the ducks. Yeah. I eat the ducks. Yeah, well, you know what, me, myself, it would be just more unity, man. We don't have to be together, but we don't have to be against each other. Man, either. listen, mm -hmm. let's talk about that, man. Okay. Milwaukee has one of the biggest open markets right now in battle rap. And I don't give a fuck what no higher-ups say about it. Um, I was told, Mickey, well, I heard Mickey Fax say something about Milwaukee's a D market as far as, you know, battle rap. And it's because, not because we don't have the talent. Mm -hmm. It's because, and everybody says the league on this, no. It's not. It's not just the league owners. Right. You know what I'm saying? It's more so egos. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Definitely like definitely agree with that. So if I want to work, I'm, I'm not limiting nothing to nobody. You know what I'm saying? At the end of the day, I'm willing to work with whoever want to work, man. But I'm not into holding anybody back from nothing they want to do. You know what I'm saying? Milwaukee's so small, I don't have more than a hundred they don't have more than eight hundred thousand people here. Right. You feel me? Like shine, man. Get your shine on, King. Do what you do. You know what I'm saying? For sure. And that's what I'm here for. Spit that he is to give people who don't have an opportunity an opportunity to shine, man. And I love doing it. Man. You know what I'm saying? I got a passion for doing it. That's what I've been doing it for. You know, and shout out to my band, shout out mm -hmm. to those who rock with what I got going on and shout out to those who don't because they still watching. Right. And I'm still Mealtime Blow. I'm still booked at least three to four times out of three months. I'm, I stay booked from state to state hosting. So the blessings keep coming, man. That's what's you up. Know, so I need the bad and the good to keep them balanced so the bookings don't stop. Yin and yang. You know what I'm saying? Well, so. 
Hey, you know what? You got you, and you got a good thing going, man. I, I'm I'm definitely following you. You you already know I'm there whenever you need me, fam. And that's a blessing. Y'all make sure y'all go fuck with no chill, no filter TV. Every time you see him with his camera, y'all better hop in front of that. In one. real life, if y'all want to be on the show, if you got music that you want to submit to, y'all better holler at me. All you gotta do is inbox me. Y'all know who Aaron Big Ron Ski is. Holler at me, man. If y'all want to put y'all music on here, I mean, I ain't like that. I'm ready to broadcast everybody. As a matter of fact. I got five videos that I want to put on here also. You uh -huh. need to go on here and let me get that link on yours too because uh -huh. I got to put it on there. I got a countdown on videos for last year. Say don't, that. Don't 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 sweat it now. You know what I'm Say saying? That. I got a whole lot going on. Make sure y'all keep, man, listen, whoever watching this, man, make sure y'all keep focus on success, man. Yes, sir. Don't let anybody energy taint yours to hold you back from doing anything you want to accomplish in your life, anything with your career. Focus on success, man. Don't let... Nothing holds you back. Nothing, bro. Like, do whatever the fuck you want to do out here in this world. It's up to you, man. You got one life to live. Make it work. You heard? One. Meal time. My man. It's your big homie MC Ron Ski. Y'all heard it straight from the horse's mouth. And trust me, we ain't done. Mm -mm. Don't don't think we done either. You gonna said, see me I back. We. I said we. You gonna see us back. My man. You, you know what I'm saying? Make it work. Holla at your boy, man. Spit that heat. Spit that heat. No chill, no filter TV. This your big homie MC Ron Ski with special guest Mill Town to the blow. The king of the ring when it come down to doing this thing. Uh -huh. You understand? Check this out, man. Glad y'all sat and ran through this thing, man, and watched it. This could be a two or three parter. I don't know yet. I mean, it depends just depends on how I feel. You, you know, know what I'm saying? We, we, we got some shit. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. It's all vibing, man. So I'm hoping y'all enjoyed this here whole whole segment. You know what I'm saying? It's in, in its entirety. Yeah. So check this out until next time, man. Stay blessed, not stressed, man. Man, in real life. And if you in your feelings, you already know how we feel about that around here, man. So <laughs> <laughs> this is big on the MC Ryan Ski and we signing up out this yacht. Mm.